Celia, you were trained as a scientist. You are now a theologian. Science and theology has had, shall we say, a rocky history, but many people today try to put them together. Um, how do you see yourself thinking as a scientist and as a theologian? Do they, do these two concepts uh, war in your own mind? I think, as a, I think the perception of others is that they war in, in people's minds, but actually as a, as a scientist I was also a Christian believer and one of the struggles I had as a scientist was how can I bring my understanding of God, my understanding of theology to the same kind of level as my understanding of science. Um, and so that was the beginning of the quest, as it were, to, to reach some sort of dialogue or or interaction between the two, I felt I had to bring the, bring the level up. Now, as a scientist, I was fascinated by the natural world and how it worked. Um, but I saw that as pointing to the work of a creator. So there was never, if you like, a sense of the two being in conflict. What was in conflict to me, or what was a gap, were some more the ethical questions that tended to be missed out by scientists. So that was one of the, the areas which troubled me quite deeply, that there wasn't enough discussion on the responsibilities of the scientists and the ethical issues. Of course, this has changed since the uh, late 80s when I was practicing science myself. But, but I still think that the training of scientists tend to be very narrow. It, it, it's narrow towards a particular goal, the goal of discovery. Um, and the goal of, of research, rather than necessarily goals of human responsibility and accountability. You talked about trying to bring your <laughs> level of uh, theological understanding into this, up to the same level as your scientific confidence, but isn't that a, uh, an impossible task? Because uh, science enables you, even though you may change the latest science views, uh, science is an uh, objectivity in which cross-culturally, once there's something demonstrated, everybody can seem to agree with that. It may change as you have more data, but you'll have people at different cultures all agreeing with it. And in, and in theology and in religion, it's precisely the opposite. You see extreme differences among different uh, cultures and ethnic groups and religious groups, obviously. And so, and, and that never seems to uh, uh, ameliorate. Th those gaps never close, where in science they always close. Isn't that a fundamental difference that m makes an irrevocable uh, gap between the two? I, I think amongst scientists there's more uncertainty than you seem to suggest in that, in that as, as scientists they're always, if you like, at the leading edge of, un, of questions. Sure. And in order to shift the paradigm from one paradigm to the other, there's normally something, if you like, on the fringe, as it were, that then is proposed, that then moves the agenda forward in a way that people maybe haven't thought of. So, so you get a sort of common mentality built up. You get a, a solidarity, as it were, around one, one idea. But I would say that, that there are groups of scientists that disagree with one another quite profoundly, um, and that there are tensions within science as well as outside science. And in that way, you see the same in theology and science, but the difference is in science that those disagreements almost always come to agreement at some point. It may take decades, but there is agreement. Then there may be some new problems. But you have convergence among those disagreeing mm -hmm. scientists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you don't have that in religion. I would say that the, the divergences within religion are actually not maybe as extreme now as they were even 50 years ago. Um, for example, I give the example from the Catholic Church. In the Catholic tradition, it used to be said that the Catholic Church is the way to God and there's no other way. But gradually over time they've started to say, well, other religious traditions have important insights so, and, and so on. And eventually now there's profound dialogue between Muslims and Catholics and between Muslims and, Jew and Catholics and Jews and so on in a way that there wasn't even 50 years ago. So I would say that the trajectory of religion is much, much slower than anything to do with science. It takes centuries for things to change. In science, everything seems to happen very quickly. And so we can see things converging almost instantaneously. But I would say that the, the disputes and the disagreements in, in religion may well eventually converge. Um, I don't think we'll end up with a common religious understanding, but there will be a mutual respect for differences. 
in much the same way that there's mutual respect am, or could be mutual respect amongst different scientific traditions and depending on the level at which you're doing your analysis. Yeah, I think that's very helpful for uh, a cooperative, congenial humanity to have appreciation mm -hmm. for the other view. But the difference is, and it's fundamental, is that science with those differences will resolve those differences to where everyone in the mainstream will agree even after the great disputes. Whereas religion, what you're saying in the optimum case, which will take centuries maybe, but the, even the optimum case is an appreciation for the other view, but never a, con, a real convergence. I th yeah, I mean, I think some people may try and converge the religious traditions, but I don't think that will be very satisfying. And that's the difference, perhaps, between science and, and relig religious traditions, because the religious traditions gain their um, power through their distinctiveness, right. whereas the scientific traditions right. try to come to a, a single sense of the truth. But that's partly the problem from, for religion with science, is in, in that it has what some people call a, a univocal Right. way of seeing reality, whereas uh, religious traditions are more plurivocal, that is, they are deliberately multi multiple in their understanding. But then they're looking at different things, then the religious traditions are looking at God, which is a, and God is a mystery, and God isn't something you can analyze like a factual event, whereas the, the scientific traditions are looking at the created world, which has its own concreteness, whereas God isn't concrete in the same kind of way.